Hey everybody, this is Josh and 98 Know It All. Coming to you today to talk about a topic that is not only close to my heart, but actually close to where I live, in my hometown. There's been a lot of talk lately about Major League Baseball coming to Portland. Now, first of all, as a baseball fan, I love that. Number one reason is, because I live pretty close to Portland. I'm only about 45 minutes north of Portland, so driving down, catching a game, being able to get back without it being like one o'clock at night, sounds amazing to me. Now, once again, I'm a huge Mariner fan. Mariner shirt, Mariner hat, got Mariner stuff behind me, Mariner stuff all over my house, but I'll be honest with you, driving two and a half, almost three hours to get to a game, going to a game, then driving that same amount back, that, that makes for a long day, makes it tough. So having a team in Portland would be, would be something amazing for me. I don't know if I'd get season tickets just because of the cost, but you probably see me down there once a week on average just because I love baseball and you know what a better place to go but there are some pros and there are some cons to having a team in Portland now right off the bat obviously for me pros there's only one major league baseball team in the entire Northwest in fact if you took away the Mariners the nearest team to me would be San Francisco and Oakland which I think is like a 10 hour drive for me I'm not going to drive 10 hours to go watch you know, the Giants or the A's play. It's just, it's too far, obviously. Now, maybe if I make a weekend of it, going to San Francisco, hanging out at the wharf, that, you know, that's kind of cool, but, you know, that's not something I'm going to do on a regular basis and probably not even every year. So, having a team up here, another one in the Northwest, it's a pro for me. I love that. For the Mariners, it's a big pro, even though they're going to probably fight this just because of TV rights, um, but it cuts down on travel time. You know, there's a lot of travel for them. That they travel more than any other team in Major League Baseball, obviously because there's no one else in the Northwest near them. But moving Oakland or whoever, whether it be an expansion team, I don't think Tampa Bay will move across. Oakland's probably the most likely team to move up if it's not an expansion team. It would cut travel t time a little bit. You know, it also created a nice rivalry. We have teams that close. I mean, look at the East Coast. You have teams that are across the river. You have teams that are in the same city. So for the Mariners, they don't have a rival. They don't have a natural built-in rival. Now, according to interleague play, there's the Padres, but that's only because the Padres have no rival either. And really, they share the same spring training complex. So by default, they're rivals, which is kind of a joke because neither one's been competitive for a while. And so I, I don't see that as a real thing. But if you had a Portland team and a Seattle team, you have that natural rivalry, the I-5 rivalry right down the road. It'd be perfect. You have fans that could drive down from Seattle to watch games, fans from Portland drive up to watch games. I think it would create a lot of interest, a lot of buzz here in the Northwest. And a lot of people think, well, the Northwest isn't really a baseball area, isn't really a baseball community. And I disagree. I live in Longview and, and Kelso, and they're baseball towns. Now, they're not huge towns. They're not big. Between the two cities, there's like... 80,000, 90,000 people, so we're not huge, but at the same time, there's enough people to, you know, here that love baseball that would drive down to Portland. You have Vancouver, which is a pretty good sized city. Portland's good size, obviously, to host a city, and they have the Blazers who have pretty packed crowds every night. Uh, I mean, we're not going to build a 70,000 seat stadium in Portland. I'm looking at, uh, I think they said a 40,000 seat stadium. That's perfect. Get a retractable roof, you know. During the early springtime when there's still some rain, you now you close the roof and during the summertime, it's perfect out here. It'll be 80 degrees, beautiful weather, won't be too hot, won't be muggy. Man, it'll be perfect for players, perfect for baseball, really. And so I think the pros are, are pretty strong, pretty big. Now, there are some roadblocks and there are some negatives. One of the negatives, first of all, is if there isn't an expansion draft, which I, I can go both ways with an expansion because if you have 32 teams, you can make all the divisions equal. You kind of eliminate the wild card and just say uh, four divisions in each league, winner of each division makes the playoffs, period. That'd be nice. I would like to do something like that. But if you keep the same number of teams and just relocate a team, that means it's probably going to be Oakland's going to move. And it's nice to have an established team with a history, um, even with a fan base to some extent to move up, but the negative is, that means Oakland loses a team. That means the fans there of the A's, 
they lose their team. Now they can still be fans of, of whatever Portland would name their team, but they would lose them. They would lose that connection. And although the, the one slight positive for them is that they could still go to Major League Baseball games you know, in San Francisco and watch the Giants, but sometimes it's tough if you're a fan of one team to go and cheer on the other team. I completely understand that. Um, my brother-in-law, Kelly, who's one of our writers for Now You Know It All, he's a Dodger fan, but you don't see him rooting for Anaheim. <laughs> he is not a fan of the Angels for a lot of reasons, but you know, if you, if you eliminated the Dodgers, I'm not sure that he would switch over to the Angels. I think he's a Dodger guy, and if you took that away, he'd just find a different team in a different area. So I understand that for Oakland fans, it would stink to have to then try and become fans of the Giants or follow a team that's now 10 hours away from you. And that'd be rough, and that, that's a negative. Another negative is, you know, Portland has had a up and down history with baseball. There's been a lot of great parts of, of baseball history that happened in Portland. And right now with the Hillsboro Hops, we see that you can be successful. Now granted, that's a minor league team, smaller stadium, but every time I've gone there, even on weeknights, that stadium is packed. And so if you can pack out a, a, a smaller stadium for a single A short season team, you bring in a major league baseball team, you can, you can have some pretty nice crowds. One of the big negatives though, and this is for someone who drives to Portland all the time. In fact, I was just there yesterday going to the zoo with my family. The, the road system, the, the whole traffic for Portland is horrible. They would have to find a way to fix it or really make sure they locate the stadium in a, in a spot where traffic doesn't get worse than what it already is. Because you can go through there at a non-rush hour time and hit, hit bumper to bumper traffic. It's horrible. I've been to LA and had better traffic than Portland. The only, the only thing that saves Portland is that Portland isn't quite as big, so you can get through it a little bit faster, but it's horrible. Traffic in Portland is bad, and you put a stadium in the wrong spot, and it just makes it worse. Now, there are some locations that they've talked about um, that would work. You can come in from different directions. You don't have to go down I-5 necessarily to get to the stadium, or you can take a back way and, and get there just as, as easily. So there are some locations that work great in Portland, and once again, I'm a huge fan of bringing a team to Portland. I think the Northwest needs more than one team. I think they need more than one NBA team. Even though I don't follow the NBA, Seattle needs an NBA team. Um, NFL, I don't really think that the NFL would work great in Portland. I think that's uh, too big of an, a need. Now, you, you never know. With the success the Seahawks have had lately, it might draw in you know, the opportunity to have a team in Portland for NFL, but I, I would shy away from that. Um, but I've heard a lot of talk about Seattle trying to get an uh, NHL team, and that's definitely needed because we don't have one NHL team in the Northwest. That's something that's really missing. But I definitely think that there is a big enough fan base in Portland to handle two Major League Baseball teams. And really, I see it as a benefit. I know the Mariners, once again, would, would probably fight it. They don't want to lose Oregon. They don't want to lose the um, proposed ticket sales. They don't want to lose the, the TV rights either. But at the same time, these two teams could work together and create a bigger deal to create a rivalry between each other but also to draw fans that can travel between the two cities and once again for me I'm not going to drive to Seattle on a Tuesday night to watch a game too far too long too costly but I could drive to Portland to catch a game in fact I'm trying to think last year if I even went to a Marriott I don't think I did I was I've done a lot of other games do a lot of minor league games but Driving up to Seattle, that's it's a whole planning. I have to take, you know, I have to figure out if I have to take time off. I have to figure out if I have to stay at a motel for food, plus tickets, plus parking. You know, it has to be a whole weekend really for me. So once again, I love the idea of Portland having a team. That would that stop me from going to Mariner games? Oh, heck no, I man! I don't go a lot anyways, but I'd still want to go. It's still the team I grew up watching. So having a team in Portland might actually get me excited and follow them up to Seattle for a couple games, or when Seattle comes down to Portland and watch a few games. It would do something that would help me as a fan connect to Major League Baseball more than I have lately. Really, my connection with baseball has been, been college and summer leagues and then minor leagues. I haven't really done a whole lot of Major League Baseball um, outside of watching the MLB package that I bought. Um, so, you know, it, it's a good thing. I think it's something that would be positive for the fans, positive for the Northwest, 
And, you know, it would suck for the fans of Oakland, but, you know, that's a part of baseball. Teams relocate and it stinks, but at the same time, that's just what happens when, when cities don't support teams. And uh, the fans have supported Oakland. I think that there's a great fan base there. But once again, the, the city, I don't think, has really gotten behind the Oakland A's. And, you know, you can kind of see it in the stadium they're playing at. So, so that's my thoughts on a Major League Baseball team coming to Portland. Once again, if it's an expansion draft, great. No one loses their team. If it's not, then someone has to relocate. If it's Tampa Bay, if it's Oakland, you know, great. You know, I would like to see a National League team come to Portland just because that give me some other teams, you know, that I don't normally get to see on a regular basis. But, you know, I'll take anything I can get, especially in Portland. Keep it close. So once again, guys, I'm the 90 Know-It-All. Thanks for listening to my video, and uh, catch you guys later.